All right, we're gonna keep it simple, guys. Today, we got a bunch of shoes. We gotta unbox them. I gotta show them to you, and that's pretty much it. Now, before we open this package up, I wanna tell you guys that I did upload a new skit this week on my main channel, the Kais Omar channel, collaboration with the folks over at Common Hype. Shout out to the boys over there. So go watch it, I'll leave the link down below. I've basically been uploading a video every week on that channel because I wanna stay consistent with it, and mainly, I wanna hit a million subscribers. So please, guys, go watch the skits, go subscribe to that channel, and uh, if you already have done both of those things, I love you. I really do love you. Anyway, let's open this up. This was sent to me by the family over at Soul Steels. This is probably the hundredth time that I've shouted them out, but it's because I truly believe in their service and I love their website. And I just love shouting them out because they've given people an opportunity to purchase sneakers for the market, if not under market value. Now, here's the thing. Obviously it's the end of the year, which means it's time for our sneaker of the year list, our top 10 sneakers of 2021. Now, this is not that video, obviously. I'm actually teaming up with Soul Steals to give away my number one sneaker. So when I do release that video showing you my top 10 sneakers of 2021, whatever is number one will be given away to you guys via Soul Steals. Now, here's the thing as well. I don't know what my number one is, but obviously I tend to put something that's very hyped and expensive at number one. So you definitely wanna watch that video when it does come out. And uh, shout out to Soul Steals. I'll leave the link down below, guys. It's a membership-based website, but because you're paying monthly, you get access to their inventory and they have a bunch of steals and deals on there. And uh, yeah, they're just good friends, they're family. And I, I highly suggest you guys sign up for Soul Steals because as I, I've been shouting them out for a couple years now and I will continue to do so because I really do like what they offer. So Soul Steals, link down below, check it out. But anyway, here it is. Ah, uh, ma, miniere. Hopefully I said it right, because I feel like I never said it correctly. Yeah, but basically this is the second sneaker that they've dropped this year. The first one was the three, obviously, and this is the Jordan one. They did come with this little sleeve thing that we've been seeing a lot recently. They did it on the other Alma years, I think. Alma Mami years, did they do it? I don't know. I haven't seen this full packaging, so, oh, that is sick. Look at that, under the box, we got the classic logo Jordan pose. That's pretty sick, man. I've seen a lot of dope designs on boxes, but when you open it up and there's something like that, it just makes me appreciate the overall unboxing experience a little bit more. Here they are. Booyah, the Air Jordan 1. Ah, uh, ma, ma, yeah. Hopefully I say it right, bro. I love the threes. That is definitely going to be, I don't want to say where it's going to rank on my top 10 list, but it will be on there 100%. Oh, nice little hang tag. I did not even know about this. The whole upper here is kind of like this crackling material. It doesn't actually come off to my knowledge, but it has that look as if it's like an aged cracking paint. Yeah, man, just the overall beautiful shoe. Like I said, it's got this hang tag. I do think that this paint actually does come off. I feel like it's literally coming off of a, as I'm doing this unboxing. And by the way, guys, we have eight other or seven other sneakers to show you guys. So we got eight shoes total that I'm going to be showing you guys today. On this one, it says, learning's a gift, even when pain is your teacher. Wow, these are 100s. Shout out to Swagga Diddy. Yeah, but let me know what your guys' opinion is on this collaboration. Do you think it's too similar to the three as far as the overall colorway goes? It obviously is the same maroon, cream, white aesthetic, but it's on a completely different silhouette, the Jordan one. So I feel like it's okay. Question is now, do we put the cream laces on here? Yeah, I think this is a cream lace contender. Now, if you watch my last vlog, we were at this sneaker event, or it wasn't really technically a sneaker event. We were at Kobe's Swap Meet in San Diego. We were there to buy inventory for our store off the bench, but you know I'm a sneakerhead before anything, and there was a pair of shoes that I wanted. I was offered it for retail, so I had to pick it up. And they come right here in this very special box. I love when they do this box. It's so dope. It is the Patchwork Air Jordan 3s, also known as the, as it says on the flap of the shoe, the Jordan Jordan 3 special projects. It says it right there if it wants to focus. Okay, it doesn't want to focus. You get the idea. Yeah, anyway, this is a Jordan 3 that has just a bunch of different materials to basically make the upper. A bunch of different canvas materials from camo to green to dark green to brown, suede on the toe, suede on the back, got the Jumpman logo on the back, or if you want to keep it classic, you can stick on a Nike Air tab, but yeah, I think this is actually going to 
this thing will probably fall off if you wear it, so I'm not gonna risk that. Satin sock liner, satin tongue under, which kind of gives me that overall undefeated four vibe, a shoe that I'm probably never gonna own. This is probably the closest I'll get to an undefeated four, and that's why I put on the orange laces that it comes with. But yeah, man, this is a very slept on shoe. I didn't really see too much hype over it. I get it. It's a very weird colorway. It's not something that's really hyped at the moment, but I personally like it. I already wore them. I'm happy I picked them up. This is a great shoe. If you're thinking about getting it, I would suggest you pull the trigger because I don't think they'll go up in the long run, but it's affordable at the moment, so why not? So I'm using a little bit of a, uh, a life hack on this next one because I'm including two of the same shoe as part of the eight. And obviously it's the cool grays because both Mina and I were able to cop these for retail. Already a dirt stain on the midsole. Wow. And she hasn't even wore these. Oh wait, she did wear these. Oh yeah, she wore these to the uh, Jordan event we went to. Okay, yeah, we need to use some Pure on that. Hold on, where's my Pure at? I keep my Pure in a Bape Ziploc bag. Pure wipes available now. I'll leave the link down below, guys. Make sure you get your Pure wipes ASAP. See that little dirt stain right there? Hm. Pure got your back, Mina. Don't even worry. All gone. Pure sneaker cleaner available now. Thanks for cleaning with us. All right, so yeah, Mina was able to hit on the, the Nike sneakers app and I was able to hit on the Foot Locker app. I haven't even opened my pair up. I've literally been waiting to make this video to open these up. Although you guys have seen them before, I've unboxed them before. I patiently waited for my own personal pair. I didn't buy an early pair. Cool gray Air Jordan. I am so happy to have these, man. I would say this is... I like these a little bit more than the Concords, which call me crazy. That's just my own personal preference. I like the cool grays over the Concords. But anyway, yeah, man, I love these. I'm so happy to add these in the collection. And part of me wants to just stash these away, just put them in the closet and then bust them out like two years from now. But then also part of me just wants to put them on and just, and just wear them, take my IG photo and enjoy them just like everybody else is doing right now. But let me know what you guys would do with your, or maybe what you're doing with your cool grays. Are you busting them out and wearing them right now or are you putting them in the closet and you're gonna bust them out when less people are wearing them and more people regret not getting them let me know what you think i should do with my cool gray 11s so yeah man a lot of jordan pickups we got two pairs of the cool grays we got the the threes as well and the amam year threes but we're gonna actually go to a jordan number that a lot of you don't care about unless you're a hooper i'm talking about the air jordan 36. jordan brand invited me to come play basketball at their downtown LA store. Now at this Jumpman location, they actually have a basketball court on the rooftop. It's crazy, I've been there before, I've made videos there before, but this is the first time that I actually got a full game of five on five there, and man, it felt really good. <laughs> So yeah, they invited me, they gave us a whole experience, and we got to get a pair of the 36s. This is the first time I got to try this shoe. And I honestly really like these compared to the last few models. Jordan 36, shout out to Jordan Brad for inviting me to the event. I had tons of fun. I got to see people I haven't seen in a very long time. And if you're thinking about getting a pair of the 36s, yeah, this is an overall great shoe, man. I do suggest getting this. It's a good hoop shoe. One that I played in that I actually really enjoyed it. So yeah, check them out. So the next few sneakers, we're actually gonna go through them pretty quickly. So let's get started. So Foot Locker sent me this giant package right here. And if I'm being honest, I have no idea what this is. Masters of the Universe, some type of Netflix show. And if I'm like, like if I'm dumb for not knowing what this is, I apologize. Little poster comes out with, with the villain I'm assuming right there. Now these are Pumas. Ooh, the inside of the box is sick too. It's got like the little character. Here we go, man. We got some classic Puma suede and it's got a bunch of different designs. I wish I knew the character names. This is a very bad unboxing of the shoe. So I really apologize, Foot Locker. All right, another one right here. This was actually sent to me by Rocketin. Now, 
Rakuten and I have partnered together because Steph Curry, literally today, the day I'm filming this, he broke the NBA record for most three-pointers in NBA history, man. I literally, I got emotional, man. I literally have been watching Steph from the day he was drafted to now winning championships, winning MVPs, and now breaking the all-time three record, man. And the fact that I'm from the Bay Area and he did it on my hometown team, just like what he's done for the Bay has been amazing, man. And there hasn't been, there's only like a few players left in the league who are with that one team. I know Steph is one, Clay, Draymond, obviously, and then like Dame Lillard. Like those are the only people who have literally stuck with the same team as far as like all-stars go. And yeah, this shoe was actually sent to me because Rocketon is going to be giving them away. I'm going to help promote the giveaway and these are made by Motch. So it's a custom of the Curry 7, I want to say. This is the 7, right? The Curry 8. Oh, this is the Curry 8. My bad. But yeah, this is a custom basically honoring Steph's whole career. This one right here being inspired by his rookie jersey colors and this one being inspired by the new warrior colors. So full circle moment of Steph's career honoring his historic milestone. I'm really just happy that I got the opportunity to work with Rocketon to uh, Rook keep saying the name wrong. It's a very hard name to say. I'm very honored that I got to work with Rakuten to, you know, do this, promote this, because it's just like, sometimes when brands hit you up, you have to pass on certain things because it just isn't fit with who you are and in your brand. But when they hit me up, it was literally the perfect situ situation because obviously I'm a diehard Warriors fan. I've followed Steph through his whole journey. I've met Steph multiple times. Yeah, now we get to promote a giveaway and there's 30 pairs of these that they're giving away. So if you want more information on this, go to Instagram. That's where I'm going to be posting about it. And I will lead you guys to the giveaway that will be on Rocketin's account. So, or Rocket. God, I keep saying it wrong, man. I got to make sure I say it right. And last but not least, I got these shoes right here from a brand that I had never heard of until they actually hit me up and they said, hey, I want to send you some of our shoes. And I look at their Instagram and I was like, you know what? Your shoes are pretty dope. I would love to get a pair and show them to my followers. So this is from a band, a brand, not a band. It's called no two ways and I believe they are from England if I am correct I could be wrong but these are the shoes right here and definitely got that dad aesthetic when it comes to shoes that bulky wave runner Yeezy wave runner vibe it's got like this whole knitted upper super clean I love the laces on here it's got like those thicker rope laces which is pretty cool and then it's just got the the colorway is dope like the black upper and then the whole white body with the white midsole and then like that icy blue bottom which is pretty cool so yeah i appreciate them sending these over i think these are pretty dope i'm gonna try them out see how they fit on feet so a little bit more of a chill video today i'm not at off the bench i'm not at my sneaker store i'm not cashing out at a sneaker convention i'm not even out vlogging and whatnot i just wanted to show you guys a bunch of shoes that i recently picked up i think my favorite shoe that i unboxed for you guys today was the cool gray 11s because this is such a classic shoe mj wore this when he was with the wizard don't stress too hard unless you really need your pair before the holidays or you're gifting it to someone i would say be patient with the shoe because there's a lot of shipping delays like i don't know if you guys have heard but a lot of shoes are getting delayed a lot of stores aren't getting their shipments on time so you might see a lot of late raffles a lot of stores might be putting them on the shelves late so if you didn't get your pair don't just jump to resell stores just yet i mean unless it's off the bench obviously but be patient because you might still have an opportunity to get the shoe for retail whether it's a restock or whatever it may be maybe they drop them on sneakers again anyway thank you guys for watching i appreciate y'all i'll see you guys on the next one i'm out of here peace